All right, guys, good morning. Welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. The rain held. We got a very light shower, which means I can get out and plant more today. We did not finish yesterday in the upper garden because it got so blame hot and we do not need to get sick. Do not do that to yourself. Do not, do not. So we took a break in the afternoon, but we got all of this done last night. And guess what? It's not supposed to rain till almost noon now. Pateras planting corn. Did you see my pajamas? Okay, I'm gonna retire them after today. This is it, I swear. Holy socks and holy pajamas are going holy cow, bye-bye. <laughs> what a way to end it. Good morning, honey. It is. <laughs> I told everybody, after I plant this garden in the fastest track we're gonna do right now, in my holy pajamas, holy, I'm gonna retire them just for you. Now my holy socks, I don't know if I can let go of, but I'm gonna let go of my holy pajamas, okay? We're gonna have a good crop. This is like a ceremonial thing, okay? Just wanna let you know. Okay, okay. So we're gonna go for corn, okra, beans, and I may do some watermelons. Uh, and uh, I think that's gonna cover most of it. We're gonna have to try to have plenty of space and plenty of space in between the rows for tilling because we are tilling this year. We do not have wood chips. This will probably never be a wood chip garden anyway. It's so massive, but this is what we're doing. I'm waiting for wood chips for the other garden, but we have got to get this done and in the ground because it's supposed to rain all week. We got to beat it. Is that Pearl? No, that's Beauty. Beauty, what are you doing? What are you nibbling? That is no good. Oh, here comes Sexy strutting down here like Burt Reynolds. What are you doing, Bert? We should have named him Bert. Doesn't he act like Smokey and the Bandit? I think he does. He's. I think. I think Smokey probably smelled better though. Hey, pretty girl. All right, guys. We'll get you fed here in just a minute. Okay, so I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Some of these are not heirloom. I'm just trying to get things in jars this year, folks, okay? Remember, this wasn't gonna happen and we changed our mind last minute and a lot of seeds that I wanna use or needed a whole lot more of were unavailable. Did you run into that too? Say yes, yeah, sister. So I grabbed some um, half runners. I've grabbed some bush beans. I already have my, my uh, heirloom seeds as far as like other things like um, uh, the uh, sunflowers and whatnot. I'm gonna throw in some um, okra, cause if no one eats it, that's what I'm gonna eat. And then corn, more beans, watermelon. I'm gonna get some more sunflowers and then my cosmos. This is a little ambitious. This is a little, this is good, this is good. We're, if I think of something else, hey, throw it in there, baby. Throw it in there. Look at that. Did, did you bump in the night on your tractor when you hit that baby? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I thought so. I thought you did. This is messed up. I'm gonna go right next to it. Okay, Whew. I'm out of breath. Is my string holder out of breath? Yes. You're tired. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we're going to get this corn in and we're going to do the first block. We do four rows. I like to do my corn in a row and I like to do it in a block of four. And then if we've got space or if we figure it out in about 10 days, two weeks, something like that, we'll plant more in another block. This method works great here. It's very simple and it produces the most that we've ever gotten and we like that. So that's what we're gonna, we're gonna stick with what we know on this people. Just gotta get it in the ground till the rain comes down, okay? That is the straightest line I have ever done, honey. Look at that. I wonder, well, I mean, for having 45,000 rocks in here, you can't really <laughs> complain. So we're just throwing the corn in, folks. You gotta get it in the ground and uh, get it growing in its row. A lot of you already plant corn and can teach me 75,000 lessons. I get it. I mainly speak for those who've never done it. So what you wanna do is you wanna put it in here, just drop it. Okay, we're gonna drop it, let it grow. And once it starts to grow, get a little high, a couple inches, 
we will start thinning it out, okay, and spacing them apart. But we just want to get it to grow. At that point, I will then side dress it. Lots of different options on side dressing. That's up to you. We got to get this going. Get my Jane Fonda workout in. This is how we are getting in shape, people. We don't go buy all those handy dandy doodads for every which way to help us. Now we do have a tractor, but it is good to get out here and get in the dirt and dig in the dirt and to, you know, hammer down a few things here and there. It's what your granny did. And that's why they lived to be 106 and all they did was live off pork, salt pork, okay? Get out and get busy. Let's go. Woo. Hey, Mr. Ball, is it true that corn won't grow at all on Rocky Top? Dirt's too rocky by far. That's why all the folks on Rocky Top get their corn from a jar. You know anything about that? It's what they say. It's what they say. <laughs> okay, so here's what we have decided to do for this area. We're gonna cut the garden in half today. This could change in five minutes. If it does, I apologize. I'm just a woman, okay? But. But my point is, is what we're doing is we've done a whole block of corn up here. Then I'm going to do sunflowers, graduates a little bit, and it comes down a little bit in height. Then I'm going to do okra, one line, and then I'm going to do some bush beans. And then I'm going to do, if I've got room, I'm going to do my cosmos, because you know I'm in love with bright lights cosmos. Now, we're going to let this sit, see how it does for about a week. And then we will make a decision on if we need to replant here. If it doesn't work out, we can adjust it. But then again, see, we've got all this up here to come back to uh, probably in about a week. We probably won't wait a two full week period. Most people do that. We probably won't go quite that long. We're just going to see what it does and see what we can see. It's going to be pretty mild and warm, but we are going to get a lot of rain, which we need it. So that's what we're going to do. This could fail. Remember, anytime you do something, it could be the best thing you ever did that year or it could fail. And if it's the best thing you ever did this year, it don't mean it's gonna be the best thing you ever did next year. It's just the way it goes. So, let's plant. I sure do love these. I'm gonna put these on this side. I think they are so beautiful. The lemon queens, I've grown these for you. you honey, you love these, you love these, these are pretty. We're gonna do those. And then I'm gonna put in my okra because I love okra like nobody. And then the cosmos, you need, poll you need pollinator friendly, okay? Uh, we got to bring them in, and, uh, and uh, we got to, I, I want it to be bright orange, people, bright orange and pretty. Did you find treasure? No. <laughs> Fool's gold. Fool's gold. <laughs> okay, so we've got the okra in now, so all we've got left is our bush beans. And I think we're going to have some times for some pretty flowers in addition to the sunflowers. What do you think? Mr. Bile, you okay up there? I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready for some biscuits. Did you guys see me fall down? Yep. That would have been a moment right there in them pretty, pretty pajamas. Not jeans. They're not jeans. All right, Cosmos going in last right here. These were some of what I seed saved last year. I've given some away. I'm going to stretch this out. Really want a good stock this year. Love this. If you don't grow Cosmos, get on it. That and zinnias and sunflowers. If you have those three in your garden... You're going to be so happy. So, once you see how fine that is, see? The flower blooms and it dries and it leaves these star-looking needles. That's what you seed say from up in the fall. So that's what you've seen me do on videos. You see that? So now we're going to plant that. Boy, I hope those come up thick. What color are those? Those are those bright, big, low, big orange ones, babies. Okay. I've had them for a long time. Okay, baby, it's looking good. All right, so we've got, <laughs> folks, we're old school. All right, we got it tied here, corn. So that's one, two, three, four on the corn. And then we're coming down with this row. We're right here, what were we, sunflowers? We're beans. No, we did okra. I'm so sorry, y'all. That was the okra. 
and then I did my bush beans, and then I did an entire row of the uh, Cosmos. He's just covering them up and finishing. Woo! So, I'm gonna put in a water, I think we should go ahead and do the watermelon mound. Two of them kind of in the middle. What do you think about that? And go ahead and have that done. Go ahead and get that done real quick, and then let it rain, let it rain, let it pour. And then we'll let this sit for another week. We will judge how this does, what we wanna add or what we wanna change over here or add over here. We may do zinnias instead, cause I love zinnias, y'all. And um, my, probably my most favorite flower. Well, I don't know, honey, what do you think my most favorite flower is? Yellow roses, I do love yellow roses, y'all. So, honey, you passed the test today. Give me sugars, you give me some sugars, you give me sugars, you give me Give me good morning sugars. All right, we're going to close shop, put a little watermelon in and some mounds. And guys, we're going to have some biscuits. All right, that's it. We're going to wrap this one up, y'all. We appreciate you watching here at Appalachia's Homestead. Get your gardens in the ground. Keep pushing, keep pushing. I didn't think we were going to get this done today. I thought we were going to be poured on by this morning, and it held off and changed. Be ready. Opportunity knocks. Y'all stay safe and stay well. We'll keep you posted. See you on the next video. No, this is my last bit. You see, Lord, help me. I'm drunk on Corona.